Do you know who is the inventor of camera? Do you know who is called first true scientist? In al Haytham was the first true scientist and the inventor of camera obscura, the earliest avatar of the modern digital camera that you carry around in your pocket. Today we are going to discuss about N. al Haytham's life and some of his work. Life of N. al Haytham Born on July 1, 965 AD in Iraq and died on March 6, 1040 AD in Egypt. Conflicting stories are told about the life of N. al Haytham, particularly concerning his scheme to regulate the Nile. In one version, told by the historian Ibn al Kifti, D. 1248, N. al Haytham was invited by al Hakim, reigned 996 1021, also known as the Mad Caliph to Egypt to demonstrate his claim that he could regulate the Nile. However, after personally reconnoitering near the southern border of Egypt, in al Haytham confessed his inability to engineer such a project. Although still given an official position by the caliph, in al Haytham began to fear for his life, so he feigned madness and was confined to his own home until the end of al hakims Caliphate. Ibn al-Kifti also reports that Ibn al Haytham then earned a living in Egypt largely by copying manuscripts. In fact, he claimed to possess a manuscript in Ibn al-Haytham's handwriting from 1040. Major Works of Ibn al-Haytham Ibn al-Haytham's most important work is Kitab al-Manazir, Optics. Although it shows some influence from Ptolemy's 2nd century AD optics, it contains the correct model of vision. The passive reception by the eyes of light rays reflected from objects not an active emanation of light rays from the eyes. It combines experiment with mathematical reasoning, even if it is generally used for validation rather than discovery. The work contains a complete formulation of the laws of reflection and a detailed investigation of refraction, including experiments involving angles of incidence and deviation. Refraction is correctly explained by lights moving slower in denser mediums. The work also contains Al Hazen's problem. To determine the point of reflection from a plane or curved surface, given the center of the eye and the observed point, which is stated and solved by means of conic sections.